uh, whether it was to take all the brickbats that were thrown at me when a customer was drunk and didn't like stuff or, or, or take every shot on, my, on, on me when it came to food not being right. Right, so I'm here with Sunil Shetty, who obviously does not need an introduction. He has been unveiled as the brand ambassador of Vayu app, which is a food delivery platform. What I want to know first of all is how did you get involved with Vayu app really? See, I've known uh, Madhar and uh, Anirudh for a bit and you know they've been ideating and saying they wanted to do something like this and if I would want to be a part of it and uh, when I understood what the entire model was, I thought it was brilliant, you know, because post pandemic, uh, during the pandemic, I, I've known of a lot of restaurants, my own family, so many restaurants shutting down because they couldn't manage. Uh, and, uh, and after that, uh, you know, this high commission that uh, they had to go through. Uh, so when, when, when they told me the entire concept and what it was, I thought it was exciting. And I said, sure, you know, I would love to be a part of it rather. Uh, rather than you ask me, I think I should be the one who should come forward and say, you know, make me a part of it because I see it as a very, very successful model. Uh, what a lot of your Bollywood fans might not know is that you actually started working at the age of 16 for your father's restaurant. Yes. What all did the job entail from what I, because I've been following you on LinkedIn, right. used to get up at 5 in the morning and what all did your job entail really? Everything. Everything that every any other boy in the restaurant did, I had to go through. Whether it was in the kitchen, whether it was service in the kitchen, whether it was, uh, uh, you know, uh, managing the floor, whether it was helping clean the deep clean the place when i had to whether it was seeing the customers off uh, whether it was to take all the brick bats that were thrown at me when a customer was drunk and didn't like stuff or or, or take every shot on my on on me when it came to food not being right so i think everything that that a young man needs to go through in the fnb business i was somebody that my da dad put me through uh, and you know what happened was i it became a part of my DNA where I believe that every job that I was doing, I need to be ready to do anything. And that continued in the business of movies. You know, I'm never embarrassed about doing anything. If there's a problem somewhere, I'll go first and, and do everything. Somebody says, no, 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 sir, you And I keep saying, why don't I do it? I don't know who So I'm never embarrassed about everything, you know. And it taught me to 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 never complain and, 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 and to be at it and even see failure at times uh, in a very positive note uh, believing that something there is something that i've done wrong because my father always said the customer is always right you know and he said bida agar gali bhi de do jhel lo agle din it'll settle and it worked because the next day the customer came back and said you know i'm very really sorry and how beautifully you took it and you know this is my family and these are my friends that's how it grew because customer acquisition was about customers talking good about you so you actually had customers coming back and actually telling you that I'm sorry about yes, yesterday? Yes, hundreds of them, uh, them have done it and have got back families because we never advertised and and the, the the numbers were not large enough that people would drive from various areas to come into the restaurant. The captive audience was my my area itself, you know, and I had to hold on to them. How do I build it? Uh, amazing lessons that probably I've learned from this trade. And last question, because he has to rush, he's got to bench press about 150 kilos, <laughs> I heard that. Uh, you've joined LinkedIn recently <laughs> and uh, you put up your last post was about gardening. About how, this is like, I did not, like, you know, like Sunil Shetty, like in the in the garden and all, and you said it's enriched your life, so how is that? Oh, I love it. See, the thing is, I grew up always wanting to play for the country. I wanted to play cricket, so I spent my li life at Azad Maidan, Cross Maidan, Hindu, Islam. <laughs> Uh, Wilson Gymkhana. So green was was in my DNA. I grew up my holidays uh, in Mangalore, Mulki in a small town, backwaters, ponds, cattle, uh, palms. So that has stayed with me. And uh, today that obsession of mine for green, you know, in my Kandala home continues where I experiment, I do crazy things, whether it's rainwater harvesting or harvesting a spring, growing different kind of trees. When somebody tells me this weather doesn't suit this plant, I'll try to grow it. I say, okay, fruit ni, to ped do aajayega na. And it's worked for me. So I, and I believe I'm lucky and I, I've continued it that way. And that's why I said, because that, that, that for me is meditation. That's hmm. for me is 
is breaking away into a different world altogether. I don't think of anything when I'm when I'm with my plants, and I'm desperate to to find out and get my video to say, how do, how's it doing? Okay, add this. How's it doing? What is the color of the leaves? You know, so I keep keep doing that, and that's my focus. For me, meditation means being in that one particular place. I'm I'm into something to get out of something. You know, I'm into gardening because I want to get out uh, from 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 the rest of the world. For me, meditation is listening to you talk and not focusing on anything else. If you're you're telling me something and that's of value to me, that's meditating. You know, that's focus. It's not about being in your own world, but also being able to listen to people, understand them, and probably then help them or take help from them. So. The green helps me a hell of a lot to to just relax and chill. It's like going fishing or you know kayaking or or skiing on your own. Right, right. What a wonderfully detailed answer. Uh, and uh, thank you so much. It's always great meeting you uh, all the time. Uh, all the best for Vayu and all the best for Hera Fairy Three and so many other things to come. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate. It.